Hello everyone and welcome back to my stock career in Kerbal Space Program 1.11. In this video we continue to try and get our Kerbals around Lathe back home and I have moved what fuel I can into this side which is the lighter tug that we will attach to the space plane that Flong and her companion are currently in. I keep uh, forgetting the other Kerbal's name unfortunately but uh, we have a plot that will go away because I it was on the other side, but this currently has 7,296 meters per second on its own. However, it needs to push the space plane back to Kerbin. Uh, first, it has to push it to Lathe Escape and then back to Kerbin. Come to think of it, now that I mention it, well, no, I don't think uh, the space plane has enough to exit uh, Lathe on its own. What I was thinking was maybe we could get the space plane to uh, leave Lathe, you know, get into dual orbit, and this get into dual orbit, and rendezvous out there instead. Let me just see how much how much delta V the Puck 8 actually has. But otherwise, the first thing we're going to do is we're going to try and get that tug to exit Lathe sphere, sphere of influence, and then come back in in order to rendezvous with this. But um, this has 878, and it could get out. But plane changes around Jewel are worse than a lot of things. So, hmm. So, okay, well, let's say we took 600 to do that, and we go for the tug. I mean, that looks somewhat close. But it's obviously not, I mean, there's a huge gap there. But where would we like the huge gap to be? Around Lathe or out there? Or maybe both things could just get into high Lathe orbit and intersect up there. But high Lathe orbit is still pretty quick at its apoapsis because its sphere influence is so small due to its proximity to Joule. So. I don't know if it's that slow up there. Hmm. It's a thought though. So okay, let's say we do this and Puck 8. Let's see if we can make a plot where they intersect up there and see what the relative velocity is. So many possibilities. Well, I mean, there's a possible point there. I don't know if it'll work out. But we should do the burn with this first since it's got all the delta V in. Uh, if the space plane can't make a good plot for it up there, then we'll just have this exit into interplanetary space and we'll think about it from there whether we want the space plane to exit, not interplanetary space, dual space, and we'll think about whether we want the space plane to head out there too. Okay, we need to check comms for the burn. Um, it should be good. We have a line back this way. Maybe I should have put more mob propellant in here, though. Okay, go. Okay. That's pretty high up, and hopefully we do not escape in the meantime. Could be close. It's sometimes deceiving when we're in high orbits, after all. But let me go over to Puck 8 and see if it can do something to rendezvous with this. Uh, 800 meters per second. Well, it's it's sort of nice to be in a high lethal orbit anyway. I'll, I'll take the 800 meters per second, I think. This will hopefully make it easier to get out of here at the right time. It's a little bit risky. But it's probably better than going directly into dual space where we might get influenced by moons, well, or Leif in particular, and have to compensate for that. I, I, I don't know, Scatter is putting a whole lot of blue on places where it shouldn't be blue, like we've got mountains over here, that's land, but it's looking super blue. I think it's the atmosphere, but it's a little bit forceful. And burn. Oh, that's a lot of kick. That's a lot of kick I wasn't expecting. 
Well, so we are on escape. But we're hoping to intercept before that. <laughs> and so the space plane is coming around this way. The space plane claw is coming around that way to meet it. Let's hope we don't have a head-on collision or anything. Question is, how long are we going to take to match velocities? Well, probably something like three minutes. How long until escape? 22 minutes. We can probably stop it from escaping as long as we make the rendezvous. We do all the burns within 22 minutes. Let's get started. Oh, we are flipping around. Okay, render range. So we've got very limited mod propellant right now. I'm trying to manage my parking location to make that as little trouble as possible. Let's flip this around so that we can have it grab on this thing's belly. Okay, that's not the best. <laughs> that's not the best positioning at all. It's only saying 86 meters per second. I hope that's wrong. <laughs> Seems like we can do it for 40 meters per second. I don't know. I don't know how much delta V I have, but okay. Okay, so we are in orbit. And, but we need to make sure at apoapsis we get that periapsis up, so... Is it an orbit that I would like to be in? No. Polar orbits are a pain. Alright, that's just outside of the atmosphere. So, uh, let's just hypothesize here what's going to happen at the right timing, we, which we are not at right now. We will want to escape, and that's now very easy at this high orbit. That would be a rough tangency, so that, I mean, it combines to about 2,000 meters per second, but again, it's bad timing. Okay, so this burn, which we just exit Lath SOI with 51.3 and get into Joule SOI and do the main burn in Joule SOI, this only takes 1,100, so... Uh, 1100 and we we almost have an encounter going there, but it's still not the best timing to get to Kerbin, but if I finagled it, I probably could manage it. The question is how much Delta V do we actually have? And And I've got 13 tons of liquid fuel is what I'm looking at here. I Think we have substantial Delta V like 3000 the proper window, which has Kerbin being behind Joule by 40-something degrees, or whether this actually can shape up into something. So I'm going to tweak some maneuver nodes and see what can happen, but it's probably optimal to meet up with Kerbin over here, otherwise we're going to be coming in pretty fast. Okay, so yes, I could finagle an encounter. In fact, it only takes about 21 meters per second more. And then if we do a mid-course adjustment of 67, we can get closer, but then in order to capture around Kerbin, let's say we were going to use fuel, uh, that would take 1,800, which is a lot. And that means that if we air brake with the space plane, that would get pretty hot too. So I think we should just wait to the actual window where we can meet up with Kerbin at the periapsis instead of over here, and then we won't be coming in so quick. So that is what I'm going to do. This plotting we will remove, but it gives me some confidence that we can get back, and hopefully this is going to continue to be a safe orbit around Lathe. We are in an exceedingly loose orbit, but we just passed our apoapsis and we didn't escape, so it should be okay. Okay, so I've time warped to the proper transfer time for Kerbin, and our exit from Lathe costs 7 meters per second. It's possible that if we delayed that a little bit longer we could get a better result as far as the transfer burn out. You can see where it is. Basically our burn out of lathe, which is really tiny because we're almost escaped already, uh, gets us into a orbit sort of like that. But it's already broken because 
as soon as we get out into Jewel SOI, we're going to do this maneuver, which costs 1325 uh, to exit. And we're going a little bit askew to get the timing right. And then we have to do a 20 meter per second burn there, so fairly mild, uh, to correct our inclination. And then we get a nice position around Kerbin. And capture around Kerbin would cost 1,200 or less. So that seems like a good deal to me. It's better than the previous plot was before we went for the correct transfer time. But uh, it's all dependent on my calculation for the delta V being correct. And as we can see, the game is not going to help me with that. <laughs> so it's all very complicated. Uh, maybe if I, oh, uh, I think, ah, now it's got it. So uh, it's 3,101, as you can see. So we got plenty. And so hopefully everything will be all right. But let's proceed with Luton. Luton was the one I was forgetting. Uh, Luton and Flong. And we have to wait a day. And I already wait, uh, decided to wait a little while around Leith to get the situation a little bit better. Go. I chase the node here. Okay. Finally departing Lathe. Good riddance. <laughs> oh, I will probably have other things to do at Lathe eventually. Okay, well, with Lathe and Jewel right there, we are about to do our Jewel exit burn. Okay, 0.0. .0. Right, well, the mid-course adjustment probably will need to be adjusted. Oh, well, capture is fairly mild now. I don't know how that happened, but now we've got a capture just 449 meters per second. There's no moon involved. Weird. Okay, well, I'll take it. That's for sure. Okay, so let's decisively leave Jewel, finally. Okay, we are clear of the moons. And there's Jewel. Okay, correction burn. And go. Okay, well that's not too bad. Still control locked. Um, yep. I don't know why it's... Hold on, SAS off. Well, now it's adjusting less, but it's still sort of finicky. It shouldn't be touchy at all, really. Well, at least that stops it. Time warp stops it. Okay. Continuing on. Okay, well, we are in Kerbin SOI. Our approach seems to be the one that I plotted. Let's see how much it actually takes to capture now. It takes more. That 400 was a lie. <laughs> uh, okay, well, anyway. Alright. I don't know how we got that one before, but we have 1,139 now. And we're gonna have to take it. Okay, going for capture. Okay, well, there's probably a point that we should just uh, move the fuel into the space plane and dump the extra mass, even though we've got better ISP with these engines. I don't know what point that is, but I think we can probably proceed now. Well, I, I don't want to leave it completely dry. We might be able to reuse it. Um, let's draw some of that oxidizer in. Okay, it has 131. It's in a safe orbit. This, it says, has, okay, 800 meters per second. So yes, moving the propellant into the space plane was better. We just discarded that, and this actually has more delta V. Assuming it's telling us the truth. Well, while we are here, let's have Flong repack the parachutes. 
I don't remember which way we were imbalanced. Do we even want these front two? I don't know. Okay, that's done. Now the question is, do we want to get into a lower orbit now? Or just get into the atmosphere and aero break? feel like we're not going that fast, but what's the point on keeping the fuel anyway? Oop, I don't want Puck 6. That's a whole other story, <laughs> Puck 6. I want to do something with that too. Um, maybe we'll at least bring it down to there first. And But before we do that, let's flatten out the orbit so that We'll definitely be in line with the KSC. Okay, we had handled the uh, inclination burn and now just bring our orbit down a little bit to a level I feel safer with. I don't know, this way we're not passing through the atmosphere for very long. Let's do a skim of the atmosphere to see what I can do with that. So, retrograde. So I'm just gonna try 50 kilometers and see how that goes. We have some fuel to work with and parachutes. Okay, time to pack things up. Okay. Just passing right through here. Oh, the cockpit is overheating quite a lot. Why? <laughs> That's the one part I don't want to see overheating. Okay, well we've Burned off some speed and we're going up. I think we're gonna get back to orbit. Well, I mean, we may or may not keep the periapsis low, probably not. Yeah, maybe we'll skip up and then come down at the KSC? No, I mean, while well, we're here, so it's possible. That might be the most convenient thing. Yeah, we're not going to get back into orbit. I don't want our apoapsis there though. I more like want our periapsis there, but... So we're gonna have to come down a little bit more sharply. I don't know how safe that's gonna be. Alright, well I'm gonna go retrograde here. This is a little bit dodgy, we're still in the atmosphere. Okay, well, hopefully that'll do. Tough to say, this is a very weird trajectory right now. Apoapsis is still outside the atmosphere, and then maybe we'll hit the atmosphere over here. I think I need to retro more. But this is going down pretty sharply, so... Ouch. Okay, atmosphere again. Well, there's the KSC. Our flight path is still going beyond it. So we'll keep that nose up. And aerodynamics are forcing the nose down. We've got some wobbliness. We're certainly going to overshoot. I guess the question is whether we can turn around or not. Okay, trying to do this without... Making it unhappy. Switching to air breathing. Keep an eye on the KSC. I might not even have needed the jets, actually. I say jets, I mean the rapiers. Yeah, I think we had enough height to just glide in without the rapiers, but it's okay. We really, really need to make cleaning debris a priority. Like kicking pauses in the game. Okay, here we go. Okay, don't be choppy. It's being choppy. It is very being very choppy. Look at this pause. It's making things very hard on me. Ah, stop pausing. Okay, yeah, we need to clean stuff up.
and touchdown. Uh, come on, don't pause on touchdown. I hate you. Uh, it's paused. It's paused. Come on, admit that I've made it. <laughs> Gosh. It's really reluctant here. Yeah. Even the game can't believe I brought Flung back. Alright, but we made it. There we have it. The rescue has been entirely successful. And recover vessel. Okay, 576 science earned, including the lifestone analysis. Boy, did that take a lot. Funds. Uh, we got a lot of XP for Flong and Luton, obviously. And contract. Well, we didn't do the return to Kerbin from a flyby of Paul, but that, that can be done some other time. Um, so, bring Laystone back with you. Yes. It looks like there's a lot of Ike stuff. And I have had my fill of Jewel, that's for sure. So... I think we can proceed with something completely different and we need a plant flag on Ike, do all this equatorial orbit of Ike, surface of Ike, Duna, surface outposts on Ike. Sounds good to me. Sounds good to me after all this jewel business. So, so with that being what we are planning finally after this adventure i'll say thank you for watching i hope you enjoyed this video if you did please do press like if you have any comments or suggestions please leave them in the comment section below and i'll see you next time